Hello, Sarah here from smallbusinesssarah.com and today I'm going to show you how to categorize your income that you get from selling on Jane. So Jane, that online marketplace boutique and you'll know that they take a generous commission on sales that you make on that marketplace. So let's take a look at how we should handle that in QuickBooks Online Simple Start. So here's the transaction we're going to look at in our sample company here. 12-7, deposit from Jane, 15-40-48. So let's go ahead and select that deposit. And you might be tempted to just categorize all of that to an income account. Um, and what you would be doing in that instance is recording your net income, which is not ideal and it's not what the IRS wants you to do when it comes to reporting your income to them. So let's take a look at some detail that we can get from the Jane website on what is included in that deposit. So here's our example here. Um, you'll see December 7th, we're in the an admin section of Jane, of our seller account. December 7th is the date, and there's that 154048 deposit. Also down here, they have the same information this way, and then they have the same information that way. Um, so in this example, we have um, gross revenue of 160930. Shipping was three sixteen thirty, and then Jane took that fee of three eighty five twelve. And I guess if you had refunds or over ship or other shipping costs, you could include that in this breakout as well. But we're going to just stick with this information today, okay? So they do a nice job of giving us the detail that we need on a per deposit basis, which is really nice. Okay, so let's head back to our sample company in QuickBooks. And I'm going to make Jane the customer here. I'm going to add Jane as a customer. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this deposit. And I've already created income accounts that I'm going to use for this. So here's the incomes, income accounts I've created. We've got Jane Income is kind of like the top level account and Jane Sales. So we're going to select Jane Sales and we're going to put in that gross number, 160930. Um, and if you need help on creating these categories, you can see my other videos on chart of accounts. And then we're gonna add our shipping income from our Jane sales. So let me scroll down to our income accounts again. And we're gonna find the Jane, so the Jane shipping income. And that was 31630. Now we're gonna add some more lines that we need and we're gonna do Jane fees. So here I've created an expense account called Jane selling fees. And this will go in as a negative because um, we're splitting a deposit. So these are all going in as positives, our, our gross sales amount, our shipping income amount. And then we're gonna go ahead and make this a negative and that was 385.12 which you'll notice QuickBooks has been calculating what we need to balance out to that deposit and they are telling us we also need 385.12 to um, balance out. If you had refunds you would select a Jane refunds account that you create and that would be a negative. If you are paying for shipping labels through Jane and you've got a shipping expense, that would also be a negative. So now we're going to apply and accept. And now we've categorized that transaction. Let's go ahead and pull up a report. We're gonna do a profit and loss for December. Scroll down and here we go. We've got our Jane sales, our Jane shipping. 
and our Jane selling fees. Now, because this is our sample company, there's not much else going on, so it's really easy to see what's going on there. So let's compare that one more time to our payout report. 1609.30, 316.30 for shipping income, minus that 385.12, the Jane Commission selling fees. And that is exactly what we have here in QuickBooks and we're presenting it in the right way. We're showing things gross sales and then taking out our fees. We're not just categorizing everything, our deposit directly to Jane sales because that would be showing it net on our profit and loss. And we don't want that. We wanna show gross and then break out the fees. I hope this is helpful to some of you who are selling on Jane. Best of luck to you, and if this was helpful, I would appreciate your like and subscribe. Have a great day.